What is up, everyone? Welcome to the Slab Stocks Buck Drop episode number two. Greg here, your French-speaking, hockey-loving Canadian host, and here today to break down with you the NHL Eastern Conference, 16 teams, one player per team. We could have picked probably different players in some teams, but who knows? Um, these are the players I chose to break down for you, their market, what's going on right now. A lot of hot players, some players that have tremendous seasons that are injured. And uh, we will start with the Columbus Blue Jackets, their brand new rookie, Kent Johnson. 48 games played this season, 10 goals, 14 assists, 24 points. So half a point per game in average. Kent Johnson is... The one that they look at the future of the organization and so far only his only cards have been released in the 2022-23 series one. His Young Guns Showcase here card has been sold on eBay just a few days ago for $13.49. So not a big gamble here, not super expensive for a rookie, but actually one of the chase of the series one of 2022-23 that was just released a couple of weeks ago. So that's it for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Some interesting players also in this team, in this organization for now. But Kent Johnson will be the one I uh, choose to uh, follow in the hobby for the next years. Following that, for the Montreal Canadiens, the Wisconsin player Cole Caulfield. 26 goals in 46 games this, this season. He uh, unfortunately had to undergo a right shoulder surgery after, um, just like I said, scoring 26 goals on the season, was on pace to actually have a 45 to 50 goals this season in such a big Montreal market. But Cole Caulfield, uh, actually, the, the news of his injury was uh, around January 21st, if I'm not mistaken. Um Big, big loss for the Montreal Canadiens roster. His uh, cards have been released in the 2021-22 Upper Deck Series 1 sets. You can find him in Upper Deck Black Diamond or Skybox Metal Universe with his PMGs. Um, you can see on the screen his data in the past month. Um, you can expect the, the actually market to decrease a little. Uh, also, already down in the last month by a little bit more than 7%, but as you can see on the right, for his Young Guns in a PSA 10 graded version, down 23.78% in the past month, but also, as you know, an injured player actually can see his market decrease until he comes back, but rest assured, um, the doctors are very, very confident, and the team as well, and every expert that uh, has analyzed his uh, shoulder situation that Cole Caulfield will be back next season better than ever. Also, another interesting card here for Cole Caulfield would be his black canvas. So the classic true rookie of a hockey player will always be the Young Guns, the most common card. But a couple of years ago, Upper Deck uh, started to produce these uh, rarer prints that are Young Guns canvas. And just in that year, 2021-22, the black canvas version, which is even rarer and looks completely awesome, as you can see for uh, many different players. Cole Caulfield's uh, version of that black canvas was sold on eBay for $224 on January 20, uh, 31st. Sorry about that. And uh, could be a great uh, investment opportunity there if you believe in the Montreal market, you believe in Cole Caulfield, in his potential to be one of the best goal scorers in the league in the years to come. After that, the um, Detroit Red Wings, also an interesting case there. Rebuilding team under the watch of uh, no other than Stevie Y, Steve Eiserman, a Red Wings legend himself. And two rookies also had their cards released in the 2021-22 uh, Upper Deck Series 1 set. Forward Lucas Raymond and defenseman Moritz Sider. Sider was the one who won the Calder last year, awarded to the best rookie in the league. As you can see, their offensive stats this season 
are not that shining. 24 points in 48 games for Cider and 32 points in 48 games for Lucas Raymond. But the Detroit Red Wings have been struggling, even though they added a lot of free agents this season, this offseason. And uh, also, we're counting on the growth of these young stars in their lineup. Uh, these two rookies could be interesting in the next season as they are still very cheap uh, right now in the hobby. As you can see on the screen, um, the Lucas Raymond Young Guns rookie PSA 10 was just sold uh, on January 31st for $65. A pretty cheap uh, card there for uh, one of the most talented rookies out of that um, set that was released as well. The Philadelphia Flyers don't have a lot of hobby love nowadays um, since they uh, they have missed the playoffs for a few seasons now. Uh, their top scorer is no other than Travis Konechny, as you can see once again on the screen, 49 points, 24 goals in 45 games this season. But the Flyers won't be part of the playoffs this year, are not uh, showcasing any uh, great performance anytime soon. So probably... What will be interesting in the Philadelphia Flyers market will be next season to see who they get in the next draft coming up uh, next June. But Konechny is a, a great opportunity now for a future watch auto patch, which is one of the top rookie cards that you can get out of the 2016-17 Upper Deck SP Authentic set. That was sold just a few days ago for $127, so pretty cheap for uh, one of the top scorers in uh, that, well, the top scorer of the Philadelphia Flyers this season, but uh, nowhere near the top scorers of the league right now. So Philadelphia Flyers, as I said, not really interesting so far uh, in the hobby, at least in the past years, but we will see what the future holds for this organization. Next up, the, the Ottawa Senators are all the contrary as you can see, Tim Stutzla, who was drafted just after Alexi Lafreniere in 2020, is having a tremendous season, just scored four points in uh, a game against the Montreal Canadiens just a few days ago. Now has more than a point per game pace, 49 points in 46 games, and um, 136 points total in his career in 178 games played. So breakout season probably for Stutzla, finally healthy, thriving, and a lot of talent also added in the Ottawa Senators lineup. You also have Josh Norris, who's a, an interesting young player. Shane Pinto, same thing. Alex DeBrinkett that was traded from the Chicago Blackhawks to the Ottawa Senators. There's also Thomas Chabot, a um, French-Canadian there on defense, and uh, Claude Giroux, who was on the Philadelphia Flyers, also traded to the Ottawa Senators. But Stutzla might just be, like I said, breaking out. Look at his market in the past three months, uh, down 50%. Interesting there because in the past month, it had bounced back 24% increase in his market. Finally, people are um, reassured on his potential, have seen his uh, offensive uh, side. And uh, as I said, more than a point per game this season might be very interesting to finally invest in Tim Stutzla and his cards are um, also pretty accessible still. Um, his 2020-2021 uh, future watch rookie out of 999. Hard sign always uh, in hockey. These um, rookie cards are always hard sign and no sticker, which is a big upside of collecting hockey cards. Was just sold two weeks ago for $423. His Young Guns in a PSA 10 version can be found at around $200, if I'm not mistaken. So interesting uh, opportunity there, long-term and also short-term for Tim Stutzla, if he can still perform like he's doing right now. For the Florida Panthers, Matthew Kachuk, who started his career with the Calgary Flames and last year in a blockbuster trade, was traded to, to the Florida Panthers. Sorry about that is also having one hell of a season uh, in Florida in the Sunshine State. 66 points in 49 games, 25 goals. And as you can see in all of his career, almost has a point per game average. 
Uh, Matthew Kachuk is the offensive leader of the um, Florida Panthers, but his market suffered that he uh, actually was traded out from a big card market like Calgary is. Matthew Kachuk was a fan favorite there, 28% down in the past six months. But like I said, probably that his uh, offensive side uh, upside was um, helped him bounce back on his market now up in the past month for 14%. So slowly, go, slowly going up and uh, might be an interesting timing there as well. If you once again love hockey, if you like the Florida Panthers and you believe in Matthew Kachuk's potential to actually bring this team in a deep playoff run, which hasn't been the case in the past season, unfortunately. Next up, uh, yeah, his 2016 Future Watch Auto, also an interesting play there uh, in a PSA 10 graded version, as you can compare with Tim Stutzla that we just saw. Tim Stutzla's card was sold raw for $423, and now hit Matthew Kachuk's card in a PSA 10 version with $307 on January 15. So pretty accessible market there for one of the top players in the league, more than 100 points last season and on pace as well to uh, get that mark again this season for the new york islanders now matthew barzel who a lot of people thought that this was going to be this season was going to be the one for matthew barzel uh, new head coach there uh, with the new york islanders but deceiving disappointing uh, offensive uh, points this season with 12 goals and 31 assists only in 51, 51 games played. We thought um, this is actually a pretty good pace for a whole season, but um, probably the fans of the New York Islanders were um, having a lot more expectations um, for Matthew Barzal. Probably the fact that Bo Horvat was just traded from the Vancouver Canucks to the New York Islanders will help Matthew Barzal having probably less responsibility and more fun on the ice. And we will see uh, what uh, the future holds for the centermen. For the New York Islanders, in, in the past month, his market has been down just under 5%, which is kind of interesting. And his uh, Young Guns in a PSA 10 version is also still pretty cheap in the market, was just sold two days ago for $80. Pretty interesting for a New York team market. We all know that in the New York market, the big team is the New York Rangers for sure. But still, a star like Barzal, full of talent, um, might be an interesting hold there for a few seasons. The Buffalo Sabres are also a, speaking about New York markets, uh, the Buffalo Sabres are also a very intriguing team. Lots of young talent was added in the past seasons. Dylan Cousins, Rasmus Dahlin, a lot of trades were done. Um, but the one that has been getting a lot of hobby love in the past weeks, in the past months, is center Tage Thompson, who was traded to the Buffalo Sabres by the St. Louis Blues just a few seasons ago. And look at his numbers. Six foot six, 220 pounds, 25 years old, and finally reaching his full potential. 49 game played, 49 games played. Sorry about that. 34 goals, 34 assists, 68 points amongst the top scorers in the league, and um, having one hell of a season. Also reflected in his card market. His uh, future watch auto out of 999 was just sold for 450 dollars raw, and also his PSA 10 Young Guns from 2017 once again, was sold for $560. Interesting fact to know, um, he's been, uh, right now we are in the, um, what they call the all-star break because the uh, all-star game is going to happen this uh, weekend. And Tage Thompson played his uh, last game yesterday night and uh, quit the game early with what seemed to be a knee injury. So uh, you might want to do a little research before getting into Tage Thompson's market. Also, a lot of people thought when he had a uh, four-goal game, five-goal game a couple of weeks ago that this market was going to be all hype. But it's, it looks like his prices are maintaining over uh, the, next, the, the, the following weeks. So probably an interesting um, 
player to invest in, still young, 25 years old. And if they, there's, there's a lot of ifs in the Buffalo market. There's also a lot of rumors that would bring Patrick Kane. Yes, the Patrick Kane to the team from the Chicago Blackhawks. And if they can form a, um, and, and push deep for the playoffs, uh, have, have an amazing playoff run. Who knows where uh, they can be led. And Tage Thompson will be their offensive leaders for this season and the next. And uh, we will see once again. So if you believe that uh, Tage Thompson can maintain this pace and establish himself as a future star in the league, that could be very, very interesting. And we will follow his market very closely for you guys. Um, okay. Two goats that we will talk about. The first one, Sidney Crosby, hockey legend, Pittsburgh Penguins legend. As you uh, well know, three Stanley Cups, a lot of in individual trophies as well. He will be a Hall of Famer. Who knows if he can add another cup before he retires. Still has a few seasons uh, left. He's 35 years old. Um, so far this season, 60 points in 49 games. But look at his career. 1,469 points in um, 1,157 games. So amazing career. One of the best to ever do it, Sidney Crosby. And what's interesting in his market is it has been pretty stable in the past year. The last three months, you've seen not even a 1% growth. And if you look at uh, his cards, we're going to compare it with another one just right after his Young Guns PSA 10 from 2005 uh it's been a while was sold a few days ago for just under three thousand dollars so uh 20 uh two thousand nine hundred and sixty nine dollars to be exact and uh his market on that specific card has been down in the past three months by 11.36 percent and here's why this man alex oveshkin of the washington capitals 37 years old Look at his season. 32 goals scored this season, but that's not the number you want to look at. So far in his career, 812 goals. Alex Ovechkin is chasing the great eight, is chasing the great one, Wayne Gretzky, for the most goals scored in his career. Gretzky is at 894, and Ovechkin is at 812, and he is on pace to have more than 50 this season. No signs of slowing down for Alex Ovechkin. Will he beat the record? And you know how the hobby reacts to speculation. Look at his card prices. His Young Guns PSA 10 sold for $7,088 um, just a week ago. And his market has been bouncing back. In the past three months, growth of 10% on his uh, card market. Uh, on his also Young Guns PSA 10. So you can compare with Sidney Crosby. So it might be interesting there while all eyes are on Oveshkin uh, and his speculation about beating the record. My take is he will beat it even if he has to still play four or five seasons and score 20 goals per season, which he, he can do. He's uh, a big player, very physical. And like I said, he's showing no signs of slowing down. If he can still do that on the other side of the story, um, people will turn their eyes to Sidney Crosby probably when he retires or when he's an Hall of Fame inductee. We will see in the future, but might be interesting while Crosby's market is down to uh, invest if you believe in him. And once again, if you believe uh, Alex Ovechkin will be the record, probably that uh, his card market can still rise. Who knows? But um, once he gets closer and closer to that record. Once again, um, I don't hold a crystal ball. I cannot tell you what will happen in three or six months, but these are takes that um, a lot of people in the hockey market, in the hockey collecting world, believe. Um, as you can see, his global market, just like I said, is up by 10.53% in the past three months and steadily going up. Next up for the New York Rangers, also a lot of players that are interesting. You have Artemi Panarin on offense. You have the number one uh, overall draft pick of 2020, Alexi Lafreniere. Uh, you also have their goaltender, Igor Shesterkin, who, also, who already won a Vezina trophy. 
but the New York Rangers have been disappointing in the season and uh, in the, the, the postseason, I'm sorry, in the playoffs. And this year, um, they might be making a big push to get that Stanley Cup. Also, a lot of rumors of adding talent. Patrick Kane is also a name that, that is coming back um, for the New York Rangers. If he wants to win another Stanley Cup before uh, retiring, Adam Fox is an interesting young defenseman, also won the Norris Trophy for the um, the, the New York Rangers. And uh, what's interesting is that a lot of people in the hockey world don't believe that you should invest in defensemen. Uh, usually they don't hold uh, a lot of value, but um, that is... <laughs> The, the reality is there's an exception to the rule. And you might know Kale McCarr, who also won a, a Norris Trophy, who won the who won the, the Stanley Cup as well, and the Connie Smythe Trophy, and is an absolute spectacular defenseman. But the next big thing after him, usually in the league, the same rookie season, is Adam Fox. Um, interesting there is in the past month, Adam Fox market has been dropping by almost 10%, um, probably uh, because the people don't believe uh, if the New York Rangers are going to make a deep playoff run or, once again, if uh, this is the global course of things and we are chasing different rookies. I don't know, but uh, always interesting to invest in talent. Uh, the 2019-2020 Upper Deck Premier look at that card number out of 49 was sold a few days ago for $461. And look at that patch. Absolutely beautiful and a hard sign as well. Now, probably my favorite player of the moment, the New Jersey Devils center, Jack Hughes, who was drafted number one overall in 2019. Look at his numbers this season. 64 points, 33 goals in just 49 games. The true breakout season of Jack Hughes. Also, a lot of young talent was added to uh, the by, by the draft and also free agency by the New Jersey Devils. And this might be the year where we see that team uh, go deep in the playoffs. And Jack Hughes also was named um, the, the top star of the month of January. Had a tremendous month. And look at uh, his card there. His um, SP Authentic Future Watch from 2019 PSA 10 was sold for $1,875, going up his market in the past month by 17%. So the hobby loves Jack Hughes. A lot of a lot of his cards are being um, traded right now, are being sold, and a lot of speculation as well to where his season will lead him and also where he can lead his team in the playoffs a player i love watching i enjoy watching and collecting as well and also i don't know but i always had a thing for the new jersey devil <laughs> jersey in the red version which i absolutely love and his cards um look very good with that jersey next up for the carolina hurricanes one of the best teams in the league have their center sebastian aho um i could have also talked to you about um Andrei Sveshnikov, uh, very, very good, talented rookie. A lot of offensive stars in that team, uh, led by coach Rod Brindamore. 45 points in 43 games for Sebastian Ajo for a total in his career of 446 points for 488 games played, so almost a point per game um, average there. And uh, his market has also been down in the past month by 15%. So probably there for the, the, the Ovechkin chase, the Jack Hughes chase, um, the, the, the players that have been red hot, but Sebastian Ajo have been putting up numbers with his team, and his team is a Stanley Cup contender this season as well. Um, his um, Young Guns in a PSA 10 version was just sold for $105, which is pretty cheap for a player of that talent if you look in the past three months his market has been down 32 percent and in the past month bouncing back so up two percent so have we seen his price stabilize um and going in a trend where we will see uh sebastian aho getting more hobby love we will see uh of course in the near future you might have heard of this guy steven stamkos the tampa bay lightning captain 
uh, 24 goals this season, 57 points. And what's interesting with uh, Steven Stamkos is that he reached a big, big mark for his career. His goal total is now at 505 goals. He reached the 500 goals mark in a career. Absolutely tremendous achievement. Uh, if you look at that card, you can see on screen one of the best design of the future watch I've ever seen. And also that auto is pretty special. That's why a lot of collectors love collecting Steven Stamkos cards. His 2008 future watch was just sold in the month of December for $944. Um, and in the past three months... That, that was probably a good card to buy in uh, the month of December because in the past three months, his market went up by 40%, according to uh, the card ladder data that we have here on screen. Interesting, once again, to see if the um, Tampa Bay Lightning can make another uh, deep playoff run, another Stanley Cup uh, chase. We will see. Uh, almost last but not least, the second to last player I wanted to talk to you about is from the Boston Bruins and is having one of his best season, if not the best season of his life. And this man is David Pasternak. 38 goals in 50 games this season. Absolutely tremendous pace. Uh, hopefully he stays healthy. He keeps on uh, scoring goals like he's doing right now. 575 points in 560 games played uh, in his career. And look at his card market. Why I'm talking to you about his young guns in a PSA 10 version from 2014. It sold for $1,000, which is pretty high, right? But look at the pop report on that particular year. 157 only cards graded in PSA 10 and 145 were graded in a PSA 9. So pretty rare. And in the past three months, people have been loving uh, to see Pasternak back in form and having the season of his life. 37.93% increase on his market in the past three months. A great, amazing player in probably, arguably, what is the best team in the league right now? It hurts to say as a Montreal uh, Canadiens <laughs> um, uh, fan here, I have two teams I'm a, I'm a fan of. I already told you, the Los Angeles Kings and also the Montreal Canadiens, of course, since I live here, uh, born and raised in Montreal. It's pretty hard not to love the local team. It hurts to say, but the Boston Bruins are an amazing team this season. One of the amazing teams this season. Uh Linus Olmark, their goaltender, is uh, arguably already the next Vezina Trophy winner. But David Pasternak uh, is probably the player to try and have a card of if you can afford him, if you like the Boston Bruins, if you like the player, uh, that could be interesting. Also long-term, seeing how the, the pop is low on that card. Also in his future, watch what I was talking to you today about the young guns in a PSA 10 version. And last but not least, one of the best American players out there, Austin Matthews center for the Toronto Maple Leafs is an interesting case as well, because there's a lot of players on uh, the Leafs and three offensive stars, Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner and William Nylander. But Austin Matthews is their leader. As you probably already know, 510 points in his career in 454 games played. This season, 25 goals in 47 games played. I'm going to add only 25 goals because he's coming off a 60-goal season where he had uh, probably the season of his uh, so far short career. And in the past year, uh, people have seen his individual achievements of 60 goals, but after that, an early uh, exit for the playoff from the playoffs for the Toronto Maple Leafs. So this year, will they uh, live up to the expectations? But Austin Matthews' uh, slow start to the beginning of the season have seen, uh, as you see, in the past year, a decrease of 26% in his market. But you can still find his uh, 2016 Future Watch Auto in a PSA 10 version for 5000 and. $668 that was sold last week there. So still a lot of hobby love for 
uh, Austin Matthews once again. There's also a lot of speculation around his future. Will he stay in uh, the Toronto market? Some rumors are saying that he would like to establish himself in the south of uh, the United States, probably in Arizona. Yes, Arizona, Los Angeles, or a different team that he does not want to um, re-sign uh, once again in Toronto because of the pressure of the market or who knows, but we will see. So a lot of speculation around Uh, his card market, once again, is that a good thing? Is that a bad thing? It depends on the team where he lands. A lot of Leafs fans would love to see Austin Matthews uh, be there for his whole career. But who knows what what will uh, happen. But one thing's for sure, I will be there to um, tell you all about that market in the next months, in the next years. Uh, that's it for me. Yeah, you can see that card. I'm sorry about that. You can see that card has been, uh, even though it's pretty high, uh, $5,668 uh, has been down by a little more than 20%. So interesting uh, buying window probably there for Austin Matthews uh, just before the playoffs and uh, his next contract. Um, that's it for me. I've already been there more time than I should have. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in the Slab Stocks Buck Drop. Coming back in two weeks, and we will break down the teams of the Western Conference. Take care, and see you in two weeks.